Hi everyone, this is Amber at the Kent Free Library, and today I'm going to show you how to paint this fall landscape at home. So let's go over the supplies that you're going to need. First, you will need a canvas. You will also need two paint brushes, one large and one small. You will need one cup of water, one paper plate, and one paper towel. You will also need some acrylic paint. You will need colors red, orange, yellow, blue, black, white, and brown. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our large brush and we're gonna dip it in water. And then we are gonna use the white paint, just a little bit of white. And we are going to Paint a straight line across the middle of our canvas. Now I'm going to use a little bit of yellow. That same brush. And I'm going to do a line of yellow on top. Okay. With that same brush, I'm going to get a little bit of orange. and I'm going to paint orange on the top part. Now I'm going to use that same brush and just put a little bit more yellow on there just so it looks like it's blending more okay and now I'm going to rinse out that brush okay now if you'll take your smaller brush And someplace on your plate, we're going to mix orange and white. So just grab a little bit of orange and grab a little bit of white and mix those together. So you have almost a peach color. Now what we're going to do with this color is we are going to do the sides of our canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line straight down and then another one on the side we're also going to draw another line up top that mirrors that one Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to paint in this whole area with this peach color.
Okay, so once you get this part, we're gonna let our canvas sit for a couple of minutes and let this dry. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue. So first we're going to use the small brush and the brown paint. And we are going to start drawing some trees. Now there's gonna be trees up here, but they are gonna be very short. So maybe a couple inches tall. You just wanna go straight up. These don't have to be perfectly straight. Um, keep in mind, nothing in nature is perfectly straight. So if you have curvy lines, that's okay. We're gonna do one on each side. And we're gonna continue and do a couple others around. We're also going to do a couple over to the sides. Now keep in mind, the ones closest to us are gonna be a little bit bigger than the ones in the back. So these ones will have a thicker trunk. We're also going to do the same thing to the opposite side. Now you can do as many trees as you'd like. Now, while we have our brown paint and our small brush, we're gonna add a few branches, just little ones, wherever you like. You're gonna to wanna to add branches onto both sides. Hmm. 
Now keep in mind we're going to add some a lot of leaves around here, so there are a lot of branches that you won't even see once we cover them up. Okay, so now that we have our small brush, we're going to rinse it out. And we are going to add some black trees on here as well. So go ahead and get your black paint. Now we are going to add black trees very close to the brown ones near the front. These ones are going to be a lot thicker because we want them to stand out. In fact, this one I'm going to overlap on top of the brown. You can make these ones as tall as you'd like. Like I said, they overlap each other, so it's okay to cover up some of the brown tree. And while we have our black, go ahead and make some branches as well. we're going to do the same thing to the other side.
Okay, so once we have our trees in place, we are going to let this dry for a few minutes. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and continue. And now we're going to use the red paint. We're still using our small brush. And now we are going to start the leaves. Now for this part, you can either use a paintbrush or you can use Q-tips, whichever you prefer. And what we're going to do is we are just going to make a lot of dots everywhere. So just use your brush and wherever you want to on the branches, just make a lot of these little dashes. doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, we are going to go over it a few times with different colors. Once you add some red leaves on the top, we're also going to add a few right here. In between the white and the yellow. Then we're going to rinse out our brush. It's okay if you still have some red on there because it's all going to blend together. We're going to use our orange and we're going to do the same thing right on top of the red. So wherever you want to in your leaves, go ahead and start making orange dashes everywhere. And feel free to put these anywhere you want to.
Also, you're going to want to make sure to add some orange to the middle section as well. So now that we have that, we're going to rinse out our brush. And now we will be using the yellow. Similar to the red and the orange, we're just going to add some dashes in there. You don't have to do as many with the yellow, but every so often, go ahead and add some of that in there just to brighten the canvas up a little bit. We're also going to add just a little bit to the middle section as well. Okay, so now that we have the top part, we are going to focus on the bottom. So now we're going to rinse out our small brush. And this time we are gonna be using the blue and the white. So anywhere on your paper plate that you have room, go ahead and grab a little bit of blue. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab some white. And we're gonna mix those together. We want a light blue. Okay, so once you get your light blue color, we are going to paint this white section, which is the river. So go ahead and paint that. All right, now what we're gonna do is rinse out that blue and we're gonna grab the white. It's okay if you still have some blue in your brush because now we're going to use the white paint and we're just going to make a few lines going across the river. Just 
like that. Now if you want, you can add some dark blue in there. While you have that small brush, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of yellow right under here so it looks like the sun is beginning to set. Okay, now that we have that part, we are going to make some leaves on the bottom. So we're going to start with the red and we're just going to do a few leaves that same technique on the bottom part. Basically where the tree trunks are. And you're gonna do this on both sides. Now what we're gonna do is fill in on the sides of the river. So go ahead and continue with the red on the sides. Now something that we're gonna do is we are going to add some leaves going in the middle of the river. So for example, I'm going to start over here and I'm just gonna do a couple little leaves going towards and stop it right in the middle. I'm gonna do that again up here. And you wanna do this every so often on both sides. Okay. Now we're going to use that same brush and we're gonna use the orange paint. So I'm gonna rinse out a little bit of red, keep some of it on there, and I'm going to grab the orange and wherever I have these red leaves, I'm going to do a little bit of orange on top And similar to the top part, these leaves are going to mix together the colors.
Now you can add as many leaves as you want to. If you want to add more to your canvas, feel free. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more down at the bottom here. Alrighty. And now I'm going to wash out that brush. And I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow to that. Not everywhere, but just every so often, a little bit of yellow. Okay, so now that we have that part done, I'm going to rinse out that brush. And I'm going to use the black paint. And as you can see, a lot of the branches are covered up. I want to bring some of them back so I'm going to use the black paint in a small brush and anywhere you want to, um, where your branches were or even new ones, I'm just going to go over them a little bit more with the black. Not all of them, but just some so they're a little more focused. Of course, a lot of them are hidden, and that's okay. And it's up to you how many you want to add. If you want to add a lot, you can. I'm also going to grab the brown paint and do the same thing. So if you can find any of your brown trees, go ahead and add some branches or make them a little more prominent. So now that we have most of the background done, we can do the bridge. So go ahead and wait a few minutes and let this dry and then we will continue. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. You're gonna wanna use your small brush and the black paint. And this time we are going to make a bridge. The bridge is the hardest part, but if you do it slowly, it will come out really nice. Also, if you aren't comfortable using the black paint, you can always use a black Sharpie marker and just draw the bridge. So that is another option. 
So what we're gonna do is we are going to make the top part of the bridge and it's going to be right about here. So we're going to take our black and we're going to draw an arch. Okay, now that we have that arch right here, we are going to do another one underneath of it. So using your black paint and your small brush, we're going to do another arch right underneath. It's going to be a little bit smaller. almost the shape of a black rainbow. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna continue with the black paint and we are going to draw a little circle on both sides of the top arch. And then I'm going to draw a post, which is basically just a thick black line. And then I'm going to bring my bridge over a little bit further so they touch each other. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. The post isn't that big, it's probably a couple of inches. But you want to make sure you bring the arch over. Okay, now for the middle, we're going to start with a line right in the middle, a thick black line. And we are going to do a couple others on either side. We are going to continue doing that. Across the whole bridge. Okay, so now that you have that part, we are going to do a decor decorative scroll right in the middle. So we're going to continue with our small brush, black paint. And if you feel more comfortable using a marker, you can. But 
we are just going to get a little bit of paint on our brush and you can do any kind of design you want. I am going to do just a little, little bit of a scroll, just like that. And I'm gonna do that for each one in between. Okay, now if you want to, you can add more to this. Um, you can add some different colors onto your bridge. Um, you can put some white in there if you want to, or on your trees, it's up to you. But here is your finished design. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks, bye.